In Make Volume 25, you'll find the Solar TV Remote Project, which shows you how to mod your remote control so that the batteries charge when it's lying in the sun. Here's what we'll need for this project. Of course, you'll need the remote control that you want to modify, matching nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries, a flexible solar cell, this one is from Jamco, insulated hookup wire, a standard diode, some solder, and a few different kinds of tape. This is conductive copper tape, this is double-sided tape, and this is electrical tape. For tools, you'll need a multimeter, a knife, a soldering iron, and a rotary tool is helpful to make a notch in the battery compartment for the wires. First, let's figure out how we need to wire it up. Batteries inside remote controls are connected in series like this, with the positive of one battery connected to the negative of the other. The remote draws power from the other positive and negative terminals. These are also the terminals we'll be connecting our solar cell to. Depending on your remote, it may not be immediately obvious which battery terminals it's drawing power from. That's where the multimeter comes in. Switch it to continuity mode and put one probe on the positive terminal of one battery compartment and the other probe on the negative terminal of the other battery compartment. If your multimeter beeps, that's where the batteries are connected to each other. As you see when I check the other pair, there is no continuity. These are the terminals we're going to wire our solar cell to. To access the contacts of these solar cells, first use your knife to scrape away the plastic coating. Then switch your multimeter into voltage mode and put a probe on each contact. If your meter reads a positive voltage, then the red lead is connected to the positive terminal of the solar cell. If your meter reads a negative number, then you know the solar cell's positive terminal is connected to the black probe. I'm going to mark those off. Use the double-sided tape to connect the solar cell to the back of the remote control and measure out the amount of hookup wire you need to connect the solar cell's negative terminal to the battery compartment's negative terminal. We're going to use this diode to ensure that the electricity only flows from the solar cell to the battery. Solder the anode side, the side without the stripe, to the positive terminal of the solar cell, and the cathode side to the wire which will connect to the positive terminal of the battery compartment. I soldered the wires to the copper tape to help connect them inside the remote's battery terminal. Use a rotary tool on low speed to cut a tiny notch in the battery compartment door so that it would close securely. If the rotary tool is too fast, you'll melt the plastic rather than just cutting it. After you put your batteries in and everything is secure, use the electrical tape to tape it all down. Of course, don't tape over the light sensitive part of the solar cell. And there you have it, a solar charging remote control. If you want to try this yourself, Sparkle Labs has a great kit that you can order from the Maker Shed. I'm going to let this charge up the rest of the way. In the meantime, I'll go watch some TV. And now, the Family Matters Marathon continues. On second thought, I think I'll need this.